Hi friends, I'm going to show you in this video how to go from the Pope Tech Accessibility Dashboard into fixing the errors that are found on the dashboard. This is the way that I've found to do it. There might be a better way. Um, if that's the case, you know, definitely let me know how you guys are doing this. But this is um, what I discovered and what I wanted to share. So as you can see, I'm just in my development show. I've run a scan. I have um, 18 errors that I want to correct. Um, I am going to scroll down and I can see where those 18 errors are. They are in several different pages throughout the course, one of which has five errors, my Mesa Student Services page. So I'm going to go into Edit. In fact, first let me go to Detail just so I know what I'm about to see. So five errors are all going to be empty links on this page. So that's what I should expect to see when I get there. Now when I go over to Edit, it automatically is going to open up the Pope Tech Accessibility um, Guide, I think this is called, on this page. So we can see those five errors, and because I'm in Edit, I'm going to be able to correct them. In this case, those are those five empty links. So I just have um, links in the HTML that are not associated with content on the page. I saw these when I was in the course before. There's like little tiny links. Um, there's like these are all doubled for some reason. And I think it happened. I think it happened when I was just editing the page. I accidentally duplicated links. So I'm going to go in and just remove each of these links. You can see it's down to three. Now, this might not be the fix for you all, but I know for mine it had them duplicated. And so that's where I can make sure these links are still there. It's just that there were like a little mini duplicated one um, that was redundant right next to them that didn't have any text associated with it. So now you can see this is down to um, zero. I'm going to close that guide. Make sure you hit save. So those edits that we just made won't hold unless we save them, right? They won't be saved. Okay, so now let's go back to scan this, and I should see that those five are down. Now let me rescan. Oh, it is rescanning, so I didn't have to tell it to rescan. Um, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back as soon as that's done. Okay, so we're back, the scan finished, and you can see that that number has been reduced by five. So we're back, we're down to 13. So if that's good for you, um, don't feel, you don't need to watch the rest of this video. Um, go off and edit those pages and see if you can bring that number of errors down. But I think I'll do one more as I'm showing you. Um, this other page, Web Design Just the Basics, has three errors. I'm going to hit Edit. Actually, again, let's do details first. So those are very low contrast errors. Okay, so let's do, um, let's go to edit page. So I should see three low contrast errors in here. I'm going to expand, increase the contrast between the text and the background. Oh yeah, so these three I actually don't want to fix because it's demonstrating the issue. It's actually demonstrating the problem um, of low contrast. And so I'm not going to fix, let's see if I can tell this one. Oh, this one is that gray. And then the next one is this teal, which is also being demonstrated. Yeah, I'm actually not gonna fix those because those are demonstrating the error to the reader. So I'm okay with those. I'm gonna always have those. Um, and we're going to live with that. Um, so you can see um, how you might find that the context of these errors, like in this case, I wanted to demonstrate the errors, um, warrants you keeping them. So I'm going to cancel. I didn't make any changes. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to show you for now. That was how to go from the accessibility dashboard to actually making the edits, um, you know, fixing the errors that that, that is finding. Um, and the, um, you know, quick and dirty answer to that is going to the edit button. So again, accessibility dashboard, edit, and that opens up the accessibility guide. All right, have fun.